A business owner is warning residents to be cautious of theft after two men were caught stealing a catalytic converter from one of the company's work trucks. News 10's Daniel Johnson talked to the owner about what happened. Well, the theft happened while no one was at the warehouse, which made it easier for the catalytic converter to be taken. It wasn't until later that morning when the warehouse manager discovered it was gone. This is security footage of two people stealing a catalytic converter from the Inco warehouse work truck early Sunday morning. Security footage shows just how it happened. What they're going to do is they're going to block right here while the other guy sneaks around. And this guy's going to pretend to work on this car. Workers say according to the footage, it only took a few minutes before they got what they wanted and left. Off they go. Gregory Young, the warehouse manager, says this is the second time it happened. He's the one that discovered the catalytic converter was missing both times. That morning, he went to warm up the truck before starting the workday. He then heard a familiar sound. I really heard how loud the muffler sound. And it was the second time I heard that sound, so it immediately came back to me that, hey, that's the same sound I heard the last time that they done this. He checked the truck and immediately checked security cameras. He says he had recently parked the truck in view of the camera. If he wouldn't have done that, they would have no proof of the theft. Then you can see they so bold and brazen that they try to make it look like they're working on the car, they're having problems while they in cahoots or taking stuff from people, you know. Warehouse owner Ema Hawk says it's unfortunate and inconvenient. The last time it happened, it cost close to $2,500 to replace the catalytic converter. Now, due to the pandemic, it will cost more to replace and it will take longer to come in. He says he wants people to be aware so they can avoid the same thing. It happened to a lot of businesses, a lot of individuals, their cars, and I think we see that trend again. Anyone with information is asked to call your local police department. In Lafayette, Danielle Johnson, KLFY News 10.